All right, so let's begin. The first track that I'm going to play is a music track. You'll notice how many of these vibrations will be turned into sound, as well as how the lower frequencies will rattle the board. I've placed some coins on the board and a container with water to help show how intense the vibrations can get. Ready? Here we go. I feel like I just hit the for the first time. You make the light break as you shine. It's me and you, baby, it's all time. The second track we're going to play is simply a 50 hertz sine wave. This will play for short bursts only since it is not recommended to be played continuously. It can cause hearing damage and equipment damage. But here it goes. For this final demonstration, we're going to play audio from actual iRacing gameplay. While this demonstration is running, try to imagine the sensations you would feel if you were riding a racing simulator equipped with a Clark Synthesis tactical transducer. seen what a Clark Synthesis Tackle Transducer can do, you probably want to try out a racing simulator equipped with one for yourself. If you'd like to try out one of our Cheetah racing simulators, contact us via our website or like us on Facebook to find out where we will be exhibiting one of our Cheetah racing simulators next. If you've built your own sim racing setup and want to add the immersion of tackle sound, go to our website to purchase a Clark Synthesis Tackle Transducer today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this small insight into the engineering that goes into every racing simulator we build here at Rick Motech. Thanks for watching.